President Joe Biden has been caught red-handed, ladies and gentlemen, and we got the story for you. We got the receipts. We got the pictures and the video to show you. Folks, my name is Carmine Sabia, and this is Explain America. Please, as always, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps our channel grow. And also, if you're so inclined and you're enjoying our work, send us a message with stars on Facebook to help support our work. On YouTube, you can click the Join button and join our American Patriots program for just $1 a month. Those things really help to keep bringing you the independent media that we do every single day. So Joe Biden is in the Rose Garden. He's giving his little press conference yesterday, and, and he calls on this reporter, and it's no big deal. It's, it's average, right? It's normal. Except he's holding a note card. And the note card gets really specific. Now, of course, Republicans are jumping on this, saying, you know, old man River needs to be told his questions in advance. But Corinne Jean-Pierre had an explanation for that. However, I want you to listen to her wording because there's something very specific she's going to say, and I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, it is entirely normal for a president to be briefed on reporters who will be asking questions at a press conference and issues that we expect they might ask about. Uh, it is not surprising that yesterday uh, we would anticipate questions that he did receive, right, on the visit uh, with uh, with the South Korean president, as the South Korean president was sitting, standing to his to his right, or about 2024, that was uh, completely expected, or about the debt ceiling, uh, which he took questions at the end, shouted questions at the end, and of course we would note those issues to him uh, uh, those is those issues uh, to him will likely come up and let's not forget we do these briefings every day and a lot of the questions that you that you all tell me that's how we brief him as well you all ask me that's how we brief him as well now you notice what she said it's not uncommon for a president to be told in advance the parameters of basic questions he's going to receive that's normal to be briefed here's you know what reporters have been asking that's not what happened here I'm going to let CNN, of all places, actually explain to you what happened here. This will not become law. And Arlette, I mentioned President Biden in the Rose Garden yesterday during that press conference. There was also a moment in that press conference where a photographer captured the notes that President Biden was holding in his hand. And there appeared to be one with the reporter that he was going to call on, the first reporter he called on during that press conference. And now there are allegations about whether or not he had the question in advance. What is the White House saying about what happened here? Well, Kaylin, it's not uncommon for the White House to prepare these types of briefing materials for the president, but it's the level of, spec of specificity that is in the spotlight in this moment. As you noted, that note card included the name and photo of a reporter and also a possible question. Now, it's worth noting that her question uh, was not identical to what was on that note card, and the, her outlet uh, says that they did not submit any questions to the White House ahead of this press conference. But we have seen the president in the past carrying around these note, note cards with details about the events, where he needs to go, the people that he's meeting with. Now, this, these types of moments are things that Republicans have seized on, especially as they tr have tried to highlight President Biden's age. Yesterday, President Biden said that he took a hard look at his own age when deciding to run in 2024. He ultimately decided to move forward with that reelection, and he has said it will be up to the voters to decide whether he deserves a second term. Yeah, and we should note they did have a press conference yesterday. There have been historically few press conferences mm -hmm. in this administration. Arlette, thanks for clearing that up. Thank you. A new twist in the drawing. You know, it's like the country is a car and the driver is Mr. Magoo. The level of specificity that has to be given to Joe Biden so he can ask a question, remember the person by name and photo, and then given some derivative of what the question might be. What separates this man from a robot or a puppet at this point? This is weekend at Bernie's stuff, folks. This is not a man who should be leading this country or, frankly, driving a car at, at his advanced age and what appears to me to be serious, serious decline. I'll say, I'll be kind. I'll say decline. So, folks, make sure you vote in 2024 because this has to end. Again, I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.